Hey guys, Ghostboy Ghoul here. So, I finally got around to beating the final floor in the Sealed Tower of Cetra in Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis, floor B70. Um, the reason I held off on it for so long is, last time I tried this fight was over a month ago. Um, I think we were, our characters were 10 levels less, and I was just getting a little stressed out with the fight. And I told myself that I wasn't going to attempt the fight again until I had Assault Gun to OB6. And now here I am with Assault Gun to OB6, so I had no more excuses. Now, the community has told me time and time again, tried to get through to me, that I did not need Assault Gun to OB6. But I said I didn't care. I'm waiting because I want the game to be fun, not stressful. And I think, it's, uh, I think it was a little too stressful to get through that fight without it. But anyways... Um, I got it, so I tried it again and I beat it in a few attempts. I made the fight easy, pretty much. Not only that, is my team is overpowered by now and there's already a ton of content or uh, videos by other creators out there on how to beat this, so I mean if, if you're looking for more of a how to beat it, you might want to watch one of those. I beat it on Twitch earlier, live streaming. So I'm just going to show my footage of me beating it earlier, but before I do I'm just going to show you the team I used because I didn't really go over that in the clip. And, I, and I've been playing again since like day one, so I was here around for Halloween and these costumes that are no longer available or weren't ever available for um, Steam users yet, or people who started on Steam. Regardless, um, I've got the benefits of both of the wind outfits, 20% wind po uh, potency, wind mastery with uh, Sephiroth, 35% wind potency from Arcanum with Aerith. We've got Dark Heavens to OB7 level 90. Um, and Prism Rod OB6 level 80 here, so they're doing some hefty damage. And of course you see all my weapons that I'm using are purpled, at least OB6 there, so. Regardless here, are the, here are the stats that I used for here. Um, a lot of the materia I'm using are just stat sticks, except for like, the circles, you need those. Uh, but like, this was for some survivability. I guess I needed some HP and some physical defense. Uh, lots of HP here. And then uh, more HP here, I guess. Okay. And then um, that's got some great wind potency. It's pretty strong. And I was using this primarily for the... Uh, the attack boost of 38 and the ability potency of 36. Sub equipment, we've already got Yuffie's new weapon to OB8. I'm sure a lot of people aren't uh, this far in with a lot of Yuffie's weapons, but I went kind of hard on her uh, red crystal pulse. You could see that in a different video, um, but I went a little harder since then too. Um, pulse gun, level 90, um, OB7, from Lucia. Uh, Tifa Motor Drive, level 90, OB8, I mean, my wind is pretty strong, you know, so this is less of a how-to video and it's just more of like showcasing how I did it, you know, got Ferret, Assault Gun, Sub Equipment, Yuffie's new equipment is nice, the uh, the buff extension, damn right, and they uh, give a little physical physical attack too and a lot of people are sleeping on um, the four point shuriken because like it's great I didn't use it for this battle but I think I was using it for Bahamut X1 which I did after this uh, this one people are sleeping on this HP um, 30 and it's got the buff extension too this is usable for anybody so like not just like if you're using it on a magic user you could use the four point shuriken whereas the only other options so far are these right so yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there but uh and then he's got physical attack to cap that out more physical attack ability potency here I'll, I'll because um it's not consistent here uh, with my tutorial I'll show everybody's our abilities at the end um prism rod ob6 hits for 660 of course we got fairy tale 69 um with Prism Rod and Main Hand here, she's got Ruin Ruinra is stronger. I don't know if she ever used that though. Um, Kira is uh, gets a little boost out of it, 20%. And of course, we get the extra sigil there from the physical 
circle because I think uh, Bahamas has a counter to magic attacks during one phase, during the sigil break phase. Um, I'm not even certain by that, but I, I just did that to be safe because other Bahamas fights have that. Uh, regardless, we've got some stats here. Defense, heal, this is a really good one, HP. More heals, more defense, a little bit of magic attack. Magic attack, HP, physical attack, heal, it's a nice balanced one. And I forget if I showed Air, um, Barret's Tyria. Yeah, here we go, some physical attack, some HP. Magic attack, HP, I guess it's just more for the HP here. Physical attack, HP. Okay, now I'll show our abilities quick, and then we'll get into the Twitch um, recording. Alright, these are the our abilities for Sephiroth. Hit 8 for uh, wind potency, that's nice. Capped out attack and physical attack with some ability potency and the wind mastery. He's a little OP. Um, physical attack flat at 70, uh, at 55, that's perfect. That's all I needed. And he's got some survivability. And we got that buff extension too, right? Which is actually, once you get to level 2 with just one thing equipped, 40%, that's almost, that's almost half the amount of time that um, a buff or a debuff would have been extended on top of it. Like, that's wild. That's so good. So when he uses, like, agitation to bring the defense up, it lasts longer so he doesn't have to do it as often. You can get an extra actual attack in most of the time instead of having to use that as often. And bringing physical defense down for longer, so you don't have to use this as often. You can get more um, Aurora blows in on Behemoth, which is slightly weak weaker to wind damage, right? So, amazing. And then Aerith, our abilities. Hit 7 for magic attack. Of course, she's got the Arcanum for 35% wind. Uh, hit some wind potency because of Prism Rod. And... Uh, and some magic ability potency. I think I've got some Brelay equipped. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much th that. That's the team. Um, let me just look at uh, the enemies here. The first phase, where you want to target this guy because once he gets to a certain amount of health, he he blows up on his side of the field, which causes a bunch of uh, like five or six tiers down of physical and magic uh, resistance to this guy, and then you can take him out easier. In the second phase of the fight, you go for this guy first because he's the easiest to kill, and he does do some damage and some uh, debuffs, so you want to take him out ASAP. And uh, then you go for the other one of these, um, <clears throat> the other guy of these, before you move on to this guy. And uh, you'll see what I do in that par portion of the fight, but the main reason I wanted to come here is because uh, of Primal Behemoth. You can see he is immune to uh, many things, but he is not immune to physical or magic defense down, hence Barret using War Machine. Uh, he frequently uses physical defense down on our team and uh, gives himself physical attack buffs, and you can't bring those physical attack uh, buffs down. Now, it doesn't mention whether physical or magic is more effective. Um, I'm not actually sh certain. I thought physical was for a while, but I think they're just as effective, so I've got both on the team. And it does mention that wind element abilities are effective against this enemy. He's weak to it, so that's why we're using a lot of wind here. Alright, without further ado, uh, we're moving on over to my recording.
think I want to save his ATB here. Oh yeah, full health, huge ATB for Barrett. This is gonna be it right here. All it's gonna take. <clears throat> Yes, I canceled head thrust. We're clean. Body slam coming and I ain't scared. Good. You're gonna heal or what? He's gonna stay on a charge any moment now. Right now, maybe? Did you pull up? Pulling got yeah, I got Assault Gun OB6, and I got Bandage Sword OB6. I, uh, <laughs> sub dragon. I went into the, uh, Red and Lucia banner here, and I had them on my wish list. I did two pulls, got one stamp each, but I pulled, uh, the new, uh, the new collar for Red and a Bandage Sword the first time, and then I pulled another Bandage Sword and Assault Gun the second time. Then I used 200 weapon parts to bring Assault Gun to OB5, and Bandage Sword was sitting at OB5, so I used two, um, two gear vouchers, or two exchange vo weapon vouchers to make them both OB6. So I'm doing both Behemoth and Bahamut for, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I pulled two, two Bandage Swords and pulled one Assault Gun, and then I used weapon parts and, uh, two vouchers. So yeah. I've got no excuse, exactly, exactly. That was my excuse before. Trying to simplify the fight, you know? Cancel that animation, let's go. <laughs> And they've already had W Machine to OB6, so that's nice to have. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose so much stance here. She didn't get it in time. Aerith might die here. Oh, we're okay, we're okay. That might have screwed me over that she did a Raging Spear. We'll find out. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're losing a lot of health here. Oh man. That was worth it even though I wasn't in full. 
He tried Crash 2 with 67 Cephy, Aerith, and 70 Cloud. Really lacking in survivability, but you'll survive. But if I use, if you survive, you lack damage, you think? So you need to get a 70 and see what you can do. Fair enough, dude. Pretty intense. Ooh, I got Healing Wind in this time. Nice. Enough Raging Spears for that. I think we got this if I got that in. That's sick. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's not gonna kill him though. This might kill me. But I think I think we just beat this. Oh, I made this fight pretty easy. Even if Barrett's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Should attack. Oh, what Sephiroth needs to do is a Gale Strike. Yes! Boom! Is your Barrett Hauser built OB-wise? Yeah, I have um, no OB five star Hauser myself either. It's got great R abilities though. I wish it was. I wish I had a good one. Nice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that took me like three or four attempts. I built like four teams for each two. Ooh, I forgot about this. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. Um, appreciate you just for clicking on the video regardless. But um, if you liked what you saw, hit that like button down below. Uh, show some support by subscribing to my channel. I'm going to throw a link to my Twitch down in the description. Throw me a follow on Twitch. I would appreciate if you came around there too. And uh, leave a comment if you'd like. Thanks for stopping by once again. Hope you have a great day.